Hello, what's up, Triple O Seven? In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to improve your audio quality using a popular program called Audacity. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't apply these tweaks to the current audio you're listening to right now of me talking. This is because I needed to record and play with Audacity to show you guys it, but unfortunately, you can't record uh, in a different window while editing another one. It will interfere with the microphone and it just turns the recording off. So I had to record with a play on recorder, which will not export to Audacity. So anyway, you're listening to a non-refined audio for this video only. Um, after this video, I will be coming back to this method of ways, and you should have slightly better audio. Now, before I get started, I'd like to say I did create an Instagram account. So if you're interested in following me on Instagram and seeing my interesting photos that I will be posting, you can uh, follow me there. And I'll be posting just simple stuff around that I see or whatever it may be. I'm not even sure yet. But if you're interested, feel free to follow me. I'm not going to beg, beg you guys to, but if you're interested, then go ahead. Uh, I do have zero followers right now, which is pretty um, sad. And the first person to follow me gets a high five, a virtual high five. Anyway, to on to today's tutorial, though, we'll be improving audio quality using Audacity. Now, Audacity is a free program that's available for Windows and Linux, maybe Mac, not 100% not sure, but for sure for Windows and for Linux. So what you want to do is download the program, open it up. Now, my suggestion is recording with Audacity. That way it's already in there. Um, but you can't import a basically any audio file that you previously recorded. Now, the title of this video is to improve audio quality. Now, we're not going to take your $10 microphone from Dollarama and make it into a top of the line microphone. We're going to do some simple stuff to kind of tweak your voice to make it sound a little bit more human. So with that, with that said, don't expect an amazing improvement, but you should expect to see some improvement. So the first thing you want to do is if you want to record using Audacity, um, this is how you're going to do it. You're just going to open it up, make sure your microphone is plugged into the computer before you open it up. And then what you want to do is head over to the microphone icon in the top right hand corner area here. Just click that. This is the input device and make sure that the Blue Yeti Pro or sorry, whatever microphone you're using is selected. I am using the Blue Yeti Pro, so mine is selected. You then want to go to the project rate, which is the bottom left hand corner and change it to whatever your microphone supports. Mine supports up to 192,000, so I put it at that. Um, by default, I believe it's 4,400. Um, change it to whatever your microphone supports. If you're not really sure, just leave it at what it is. So I went ahead and um, recorded this narration. Now it's a pretty simple narration, and I'll just play it for you guys. Hello, it's Dr. Triple O Seven. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to improve your audio quality. So as you can tell, it's pretty simple. Nothing major. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it by going control D. So now I have the same clip twice. And this is not four times. This is twice. Um, these two are the same as well as these two the same. They're the same track, just left and right, just so you know. Anyway, so we're, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to mute this one on the bottom here. This is going to be our unedited version so we can compare at the end of the video. Now, the best way to find out if this is going to work is try it yourself. It's going to take you five minutes to do, and you can really see if it works. Um, obviously, we're trying to have a little more human voice. So each person's voice is different, and so a human voice to you is different than my human voice. So the best way to try it and see if it works is try it on your own voice. Anyway, though, let's get started. So hopefully when you recorded your narration, you had like a second break or so. Now, unless you are recording your narration in a soundproof room, odds are you're going to have some background noise. Now, I have a pretty expensive desktop microphone, so my microphone doesn't really pick up much background noise. Even though it's pretty expensive and doesn't pick up much background noise, it still picks up a little bit. As you guys can tell, right here before I start talk talking, there is a little bit of background noise. Not a lot, and you probably can't notice it unless you're blasting them, your speakers, but there still is a bit some. And for some people, these bars are a little bit higher because mom's doing the laundry or whatever it may be. So the first thing we're going to do is remove background noise from the clip. So what you're going to do is highlight the area where you're not talking 
with this background noise. So for me, it could be at the end or at the beginning. Hopefully you have somewhere in the clip where there's some good background noise. So I would suggest at least giving Audacity a second. So what you want to do is at least give it one second of pure just background noise. So highlight the background noise. You then want to go up to the effect tab, click it, and scroll down to noise removal. You then want to click get noise, noise profile. Once you get it, it will close. And then what you want to do is double click it. It will hide the whole selection, your whole clip. And then go effect, go to noise removal again, and change noise reduction to 14. It's probably 20 before, change it to 14. Then click OK. Once it's done, you'll see all the noise, background noise, sorry, is gone. So if I play from the beginning here, all the like a triple oh seven and stays guys until there's actually no sound in the background whatsoever. So now that right there will actually improve a lot because now people are hearing just your voice, nothing in the background. The next thing we're gonna do is where you're gonna create a bit more of a human voice. We'll be adjusting the bass and the treble to make your voice sound a bit more human. Now the next step is a little more uh, specific. So you're, make sure you're on HD in full screen. That way you can really see what I'm moving. And you're only gonna have to do this once because after you do it once, you can actually save it as a profile and apply it after that. So what you wanna do is highlight your whole clip then head over to effect and go to equalization. What they want to do is pull out your bar, like you, you can see your bar will be like this, pull out the window, which is a bit longer. To be honest, go as long as you want. Just make sure that you can see 4,000 here. Then what you want to do is go over to the select curve and change it from unnamed to base boost. Now what I did, I created a profile called YouTube Voice, and this is right here what we'll be achieving. So I'll show you how to do that. What you want to do is head over to base boost, like I said, and go over to the knob right here where it says 9 dB and this is the little joint right there, and just drag it down to three, or between three and six. Now, obviously, guys, everything I'm doing here is optional. If you want more of a bass in your voice, then leave it up. If you want less of a bass, bring it, bring it down. I find between three and six is the best. It doesn't make your voice pounding, but it adds a little bit of pound to it so it's really up to you and what you guys can do is play with it and press preview and what it will do is I'll apply the um, what you've done so far onto the voice temporarily so you can listen to it how it sounds and then of course you can apply it completely after then what you want to do is head over to the 4000 HZ tab right here and what you want to do now is just follow the, the line right above it all the way up till it hits the blue line then what you want to do is just click and what you do is you'll create an elbow. Now, if you're like me and you're human, you probably by accident messed it up and it kind of just went up. So just grab it again and pull it down to a tiny bit so that it's kind of in line again. Then what you want to do is where your elbow point is, go one grid space to the right. So just go over to the line next to it. Then grab that and bring it between three and six. So basically in line with our other line. So right about there is fine. Of course, you can mess around with this as well. So once you have it all set up, what you want to do, if you like the template, you can hit preview and check it out. If you like it, my suggestion though, is hit save manage curves and hit rename and save it to YouTube voice or whatever it may be. Obviously, as you can see, I saved mine already to YouTube voice. And then once you're done, just press okay. You should see the lines change a bit. And uh, yeah, so there you go. Now I'm gonna quickly undo what we just did and show you guys the simple way once you save it. So once you save it as a profile, you can go back to nor uh, nor uh, sorry, equalization and just click here and then choose the template you chose. And okay. So now we're gonna do a little comparison. So I'm going to mute the one we just made and re Bring back to life the one we didn't make here and let's listen to both of them hello it's like a triple oh seven and in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to improve your audio quality 
So that was the clip of the unedited version. And now let's listen to the edited version. So I'm just gonna bring this one back to life here. Hello, it's Dr. Triple O Seven. And in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to improve your audio quality. All right, and there we go. So as you can tell, there was no background noise whatsoever. My voice sounded a bit deeper, and it's just little minor tweaks. Now, obviously, you can go more intense by going over back to the equalization and you know dragging up the knob here. So for example, if I drag it up to like nine, for example, and hit okay. We'll listen to my voice now. Hello, it's Dr. Triple O Seven. And in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to improve your audio quality. So I'll say it's a little more intense. So like I said, you want to play with it to so that it sounds the best to you. Anyways, guys, though, like my suggestion was between three and six. Anyway, though, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. And one last thing before I go, to save the audio file that you made um, and use it somewhere else, what you want to do is go to File and Export and save it to wherever you want to save it. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram if you are an Instagram kind of person. And besides that, thanks for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave any comments below on any tips or definitely leave it below if you tried it out. If you did try it out, please leave a comment below saying if it worked, what your opinion is, if you had a different setting that you liked. For example, if you would like it between one and two better, leave that below. I want people to, you know, leave their comments so other people can read them and see and try out different settings. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you in my next video. This is the Hacker 0007, and I'm signing off.